Hello everyone, today we're looking at parallel box plots. So, same as last lesson, now we're just drawing two on the same grid. So, parallel box and whisker plots can be used to compare two sets or more of data. They are drawn on the same scale, but above each other. So, there's one scale, but two different, two different boxes you're going to draw. Okay, here's an example to help illustrate that. We have two sprinters running 100 meters. So, we have Sam and Jesse, here are their times. So, part A. Find the five-figure summary for each sprinter. Part B, draw parallel box plots. Part C, find integral range. D, the range. And then E, which sprinter is more consistent? So at this point, please pause and write down this question and the notes as well. Okay, so first step, we're going to redraw, rewrite each person's scores from lowest to highest. So Sam and Jesse. So take a minute, erase them from lowest to highest, please. Okay, Sam. 9.9, 10, or 10.0, then we have 10.3, 10.5, a couple of them, after that we have 10.7, then we have 10.9, then we have 11, 11.2, 11.5. Okay, and then Jesse as well. Okay, 9.8. Then after that, we have 10.1. Then 10.3, 10.7, Then we've got 11. We'll call it 11.0 actually. Then we have 11.1 and two 11.4s and then 11.6. Okay, that should be all of them. Okay, now the question is asking to, to find a five fix summary for each person. So we need to find lowest, highest, Q1, Q2, Q3. So let's do that. We have 10 scores. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, so the middle is going to be the 5.5th score. So 1, 2, Four, five, so in between here, for this one. So Q2 is right there. And then the lower middle, so we're going from there to there, and then from there to there. So the lower middle, we have one, two, three, four, five numbers. Middle is just two point or ten point three. So that's my Q1. And then my higher middle would be this one here. That's Q3. Let's write that down as working. So Sam, so Q1 equals 10.3. Q2 is going to be 10.5 plus 10.7 over two, which is 10.6. And then Q3 is going to be just 11, 11.0. Okay, now we want the five figure summary. So five figure summary. So lowest, so we want lowest, Q1, Q2, Q3, then highest. So looking at Sam, so we have 9.9, 10.3, 10.6, 11.0, and 11.5. Okay, so that's my five-figure summary for Sam. Now pause. Have a go now at Jesse. So find his Q1, Q2, Q3, and then the five-figure summary. Okay, so there are still 10 scores. So the middle score is my 5.5 score. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So middle is between these two. So Q2 is right there. My lower middle between those two, which is going to be 10.3. So that's Q1. And again, the reason why, there are five numbers here. The middle of five numbers is the third term. Okay, and the upper middle as well, like so. Middle of this is going to be 11.4. That's my Q3. 
Okay, so Q1, 10.3, Q2, going to be 10.8 plus 11.0 over 2, which is just 10.9. Then the Q3 is 11.4. Now, five figure summary. Remember, lowest Q1, Q2, Q3, highest. Lowest is 9.8, Q1, 10.3, Q2, 10.9, Q3, 11.4, and highest, 11.6. Okay, so these are my two five-figure summaries. Okay, part B. We're now going to write the five-figure summaries onto a box and whisker plot. So we're actually going to draw two of them onto the same grid. So let's do one on the top, one on the bottom. So both of them up here, but one up here, one here. Let's do Sam first. Okay, so we're going to put five strokes. So first stroke at 9.9. .9. So let's do it. So, so we'll start with Sam. So five strokes. So first stroke at 9.9. .9. So about there. Then we have 10.3. 10.6. 11.4. Okay, remember, box the middle three. Just gonna use two colors to help see that. And then extremities, the lowest and highest, like so. Okay, so that's Sam. Now please pause and have a go at trying Jesse yourself. Okay, so now Jesse, again, preferably you should use a ruler as well when you do it. So let's go Jesse, so 9.8. Ten point three, ten point nine, eleven point four, eleven point six, and again, box the middle three, and then whisker to the other two, and that's Jesse. Now, before going any further, you can see how Jesse's median is actually higher than Sam's median, but Jesse has a lowest lower lower lowest and, and has also has a higher highest as well okay now part C IQR of each sprinter okay so we'll start with the our range of uh, Jesse so Jesse so remember it's going to be Q3 minus Q1 which is Q3 minus Q1 so 11.4 minus 10.3, which is 1.1. Then we'll do Sam as well. Again, same formula. 11 minus 10.3, which is 0 0.7. Okay, then part D is the range. So range, Jesse. So that's going to be highest minus lowest. So 11.6 minus 9.8, which is 1.8. And the range of Sam, 11.5 minus 9.9, .9, which is 1.6. Might just put these in brackets as well. And then part E, which the sprint is more consistent. Remember, more consistency means less spread. So if your range and interquartile range are lower, that means you have less spread. Obviously, you can see that's Sam. So we can say Sam is more consistent as both measures of spread range and IQR are lower. Okay, so like I said, lower range, lower IQR means there's less spread, and less spread means more consistency. So that is why Sam is the more consistent out of the two. I might just write that down as well. Less spread equals more 
consistency. Okay, here's today's work. More year 10 work. Here's here. Have a go, and I'll see you next lesson.